Top story, President Barack Obama says the U.S. intelligence will continue to spy on foreign governments. Obama said, by definition, the job of intelligence is to find out what people are thinking and doing, so the country's intelligence agency will continue to be interested in the intentions of other governments. Speaking to German media, the U.S. president, however, said he'd not let the surveillance program harm Washington's relationship with Berlin. On Friday, Obama said the United States will not apologize for the National Security Agency spying programs at home and abroad, but promised modest changes. Revelations about the extent of Washington's spying program have drawn worldwide criticism. The NSA spying on U.S. allies, including eavesdropping on German Chancellor Angela Merkel's personal cell phone, has deteriorated Washington's relations with some countries. Well, we're now joined by former U.S. Senate, Senate candidate Mr. Mark Dankoff, uh, who's uh, joining us uh, via Skype, sir, well, uh, on the line, I believe, from uh, San Antonio, Texas. Sir, welcome to the program. Uh, first of all, let's get your thoughts on these uh, recent comments made by President uh, Obama that uh, the uh, surveillance programs will, in fact, not stop. Well, I think the real headline here is that uh, Israel uh, is involved with all of these NSA surveillance programs. All of the companies, for the most part, that are being used by the National Security Agency in implementing uh, this kind of worldwide surveillance uh, are Israeli in origin, as James Banford has pointed out. So I think what you have is a threefold situation. Uh, Israel has a, a back door into American intelligence operations in many ways, including this NSA surveillance. And ultimately, this means that Israel is the one targeting these world leaders. Israel is the one that is targeting anti-Zionist dissidents, both in the United States and Europe. And Israel is also targeting American politicians and national security figures who are not doing Israel's bidding. Uh, one classic example of this, uh, Dr. Kevin McDonald has pointed out, that after the Anti-Defamation League took issue with statements being made by General David Petraeus about the American-Israeli relationship, that it wasn't too long after that that these revelations occurred about these problems in the general's personal life. Uh, Dr. McDonald believes, and so do I, that this is not an accident and that likely uh, Israeli intelligence was involved in that operation from the beginning. And Mr. Dankoff, what do you think, uh, uh, how do you think that foreign uh, governments feel about this uh, espionage program that the U.S. has stated will continue regardless of assurances that uh, Washington's relationships with those countries, uh, for example, Berlin, will not change? Well, I think it's absolute doublespeak, uh, Orwellian doublespeak, on the part of the president. The fact of the matter is the surveillance of these foreign governments is going to continue, and so is Mr. Obama's surveillance and Israeli surveillance going to continue when it comes to American citizens and American politicians. Uh, the fact of the matter is that there are absolutely uh, no guarantees or safeguards in this whatsoever, including the fact that for people living in the United States, the so-called Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act court that the president made reference to routinely approves virtually anything that the American intelligence community wants to do, no matter how outrageous it is, illegal or unconstitutional. So whether you're an American uh, or whether you're a foreign leader, uh, the problem is the same. Thank you very much. Former U.S. Senate candidate Mr. Mark Dankoff uh, speaking to us from San Antonio.